Okay. You see a little red thing in the middle? That means we're live mm -hmm. right now. Okay. Hi, everyone. Good evening. This is Yedidia Shofet. We're talking success with a very special guest, someone who is very dear to me, dear to my father, dear to the entire community, someone who's literally put his life for the last 30 plus years on the side just for the community. Every single Yamim Noraim, which means the high holidays. Someone who has an incredible voice, a sweet voice that uplifts so many people. And his name is Rabbi Chazan David Derry. Shalom, shalom. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Thank you, Rabbi Yedidia, to give me the honor to be with you uh, tonight and you uh, Facebook, uh, uh, what do you call it? Live. Uh, Facebook Live. Live. Facebook Live. Facebook Live. Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing that immediately you can just go live. You don't need any uh, TV broadcasting or anything like that. Uh, this is, uh, this is uh, 2000. We are in 2018 now, huh? Chai. Chai, exactly. <laughs> so Baruch Hashem, David Derry is uh, a very acclaimed singer. Someone, of course, he also is on television in Israel. He sings, he speaks, and is very widely known. For me, he's a very close friend. Ever since I was five years old, four years old, I knew him, and uh, it, it's an incredible... Uh, Don't say what you do for me every Rosh Hashanah with the honey when you watch it. <laughs> we had great times. Let's keep it at that. Yes, sir. So tonight, we're, as usual, we're going to talk about talking success, about how to be matzliach, as they say in Hebrew. And we all know, according to the Torah, Avraham, Yitzchak, and Yaakov, our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, they were those who were with God. And even though God was on their side, they had very many difficulties. And what did they do? They had to put effort and work in what they did. The way how a person becomes successful is not just sitting and praying. We know he has to also do something. He has to actually make his efforts. And how do we know what to do? So the Pirkei Avot, Ethics of the Fathers, it says, if you want to be wise, you have to learn from everyone. And when you learn from everyone, you'll be able to take that and ap apply it in your life. And maybe you'll be able to use that as a recipe in success. So tonight, my dear David Derry, Dudu as I call him in a nickname ever since I was a kid. I'm going to ask you a few questions. And uh, we want your honest opinion and honest answers. Because you have a lot of experience to share with us. You know, the difference is uh, being in Israel and in, in America... For every five years of work in Israel, it's maybe like 20 years of work in America. That's, the, that's, uh, that's how much fast pace you have it. The first question is, we all strive for success in life, in whatever we do. And obviously, whatever we do, it's something that we choose to do. The question that I have for you, Chazan David Derry, is what is the motivation that you have to be the singer that you are, the chazan that you are, the rabbi that you are. How did it all start? What motivates you to be the best singer that you can be? What is it? How did it begin? How, how many time we have? Enough? You have enough time. You have enough time. <laughs> you know, from the time I remember myself, I remember myself singing first and with my father, Alava Shalom, and the home, and the house. And then my father teach me how to be chazan, how to be cantor. Wow. And then my father teach me how to be singer. And then from age zero, I start to be singer and chazan. And also I was telling to my teacher always, I will be chazan and you will be very happy in a few years when you will see me famous. I promise you. <laughs> and it was Baruch Hashem. You know, the Rambam says one thing. It's very, very important to hear these things. Rambam says, if you love something to do, to walk, and you are not see so much beracha from this, you are not very success, but you love what are you doing, Right. So Rambam told you, continue to do this. Why? The end, I mean, after a few years, Bezrat Hashem, you grow up like tree, tree growing up, 
and then after five years we can we can eat the fruit the same things is you what you're doing so for life so do do if, if, if I can uh, interject as they say in English you're, yes. s- you're saying the motivation you had is the fact that you love it so much as a, since you were age zero you love to sing you love to express yourself in music yeah, Baruch Hashem, I'm singing I'm Chazan I do many things with my with my not my voice in the voice of Hashem yeah. we are uh, only human be and but what the Rambam says the end will be Baracha you just have to believe Hashem and to be with Emunah to believe Hashem Hashem will give you Baracha the end will be Baracha this is what the Rambam promised for us oh, very good very good the love and the Emunah is, that's a very good recipe and that's how David Derry lived his life and I hope that people understand my English your English is great <laughs> your English is great you have nothing to worry about Thank All right. Uh, second question. Was there ever a time that you felt, you know, it was time to give up, you know, or something went wrong and you, f- and you can tell yourself, you know, I'd rather try something different or just, you know, everyone just, even the stock market that goes and goes up, goes up, there's a moment of a down. Has that ever happened? Has that ever uh, occurred in your life or did something change, meaning... A little difficulty in your life. Did you take that difficulty? Did you turn into something great? Can you tell me about that? Everyone have up and down in their life, you know. But you have to be strong to believe Hashem. If you believe Hashem, you weigh. Nothing, nothing, omet baderech shel How do you say? Nothing stand and stop you way. That's right. Nothing can stop you. Nothing stop you. You have just to believe Hashem and you love what you are doing, like I do. I'm a singer, I'm Chazan, I'm rabbi singer in Israel, and also here Baruch Hashem. And I believe this is what Hashem wants from me, to do Kiddush Hashem. When I'm singing, people come close to Hashem. When I'm singing, I, I feel close to Hashem. And I love what I'm doing. Baruch Hashem, thank you Hashem, you give us to me and to my family, the gift to, to sing and lefa'er et shem Hashem. That's it. Wow. Wow. That's amazing. And uh, so let, let's try, let's, we have a little time, so let's try to do the last two questions. So we all know that you began singing from a very, very young age. And I believe uh, your son as well is also singing from a very my young children. age. My children. Your children. Uh, not all just, of them. Thank all you. of them. All of them are singers as well. Oh, so my question is, you know, did you, when was it that you had that feeling that, you know, you finally made it? That you're like, you know what, this is for me. This, this singing, this chazanut, this, this rabbinical world, this is for me. When did you have that feeling? Baruch Hashem, we are generation. Also, my, my grandfather from my father's side is, uh, was, he, he's born in Morocco. Oh. And he was... Uh, when he was age 16 or 17, he started to sing for the king and the palace oh. there. And then in 1947, 48, he moved to Israel. Oh. And we are a generation. My father was a rabbi, Rosh Hashiva, And Baruch Hashem, he was also beautiful. He was with beautiful, beautiful and very high um, a voice. And we continue this uh, exactly the same like you. Your grand grandfather was rabbi, and your grandfather was Chacham Yedidi Alav Shalom was rabbi, and your father is Rav David Chacham David Shofet, the chief rabbi of the community. You continue. You continue the generation. This is what Hashem wants from us to continue the generation, to go and the, our fathers Abraham Yitzchak the Yaakov way. So you're, you're continuing the legacy. Of the dairy family. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And we have one more question from a personal note. What advice would you give to others? You know, I know many people that are listening right now don't want to be a singer, don't want to be a chazan, don't want to be a rabbi. But when it comes to listening to advice and applying it to your life, it's very important to take out what's good. What advice would you give to someone in order to have success, to be matzliach in what they want to do in life, 
What do you think you can tell them to give them that little bit of you know, inspiration or that good idea so that they can do better in what they do? Olam chesed ibane. The world is a standing. The stand of the world is chesed. Chesed is only to, not only to give money, to give tzedakah. Chesed is also to say shalom to each other, to respect each other, to love. This is also chesed, to love your friends, to respect your friends, to respect, to, to respect your brother. And if we are going to do chesed between us, also to give tzedakah, also to help to needy people, so this is going to give us beracha to be very, very, very successful. Wow. So in other words, uh, Dudu, you're saying before you begin with yourself, look towards others, and that way you'll be able to be something bigger than just yourself, and ultimately you'll be able to be successful to, towards yourself as well. So, Be'ezrat Hashem, you know, I want to tell you a small story. Okay. Last year, my daughter was bat mitzvah. And was, and bat yam, some girl in the school, she, the father passed away, she don't have nothing. So my daughter and another sister and another friends think what, how to help to this, to this girl. So they think, they think, they think, they going to ask me what to do. So my, I asked my daughter, what do you want to do? She said, I want to make this, this girl happy. Abba, we can make bat mitzvah and the school for her. And to, so my daughter invite DJ, lady DJ. Lady, um, she is very good DJ. And she ordered a lot of food. <laughs> she invited the family. And they did one party, beautiful party from, from nothing, you know? Wow. From nothing. This is chesed. Not only have not not only our have to do chesed. Wow. We have to teach our children from age zero to do chesed. Wow. And like this, we are going to to grow up and to be blessed our generation and the next generation after us. Wow. I want to thank uh, David Derry, who came all the way from Israel. No, not to do this video. But he came all the way from Israel, and he's very time constricted. He has a lot of places to go, a lot to do in the short amount of time in Los Angeles. I want to thank him for these moments that he's able to sit down with me and to do this video. I want to thank you to invite me to to do this video, and uh, and thanks God, Baruch Hashem, uh, you have uh, many many people uh, love. When I ask a couple people about uh, your Facebook. And my idea to all the people see this video, uh, continue to bring another friends, another friends to, to, share, to, to share, to share with another friends, uh, to hear the divrei Torah from Rabbi Yedidia Shofet, my love. God bless you, Dudu. I wish everyone a great night, and let's take Dudu's words to thought that when you love something, you do it with all your heart, and God willing, the bracha will come, especially. When you look towards others first, and God willing, Hashem will give you that blessing. Have a great night. Amen.